Laporte says his mind wasn't on that fight. He was looking ahead to Wilfredo Gomez. Gomez, the 27-year-old from San Jose, Puerto Rico, a record of 40 wins, one loss, one draw, and all 40 wins by knockout. The only loss on the record of Gomez fighting for the featherweight title. He was knocked out by Salvador Sanchez in August of 81. Since then, he's won eight bouts, all by knockout, and feels he's ready to step up and wait against Juan Laporte. And we are underway. Laporte has not been a good starter. Wilfredo has, and uh, Wilfredo has is not above whiling away the first round, but usually he puts enough thunder in his punches that the uh, referee interfering there as far as one. And Laporte delivering on Gomez. The warning was for the glove behind the head. Both men again warned, don't put your glove behind the other guy's head. cannot be happy about the uh, developments here in the first round. Laporte wild with his punches, but he's putting everything behind those hooks. Gomez doing a workmanlike job on the eye already. Good right hand by Gomez. Gomez in control of this early round. Laporte too wild and too frantic. Too undisciplined at this point for Wilfredo Gomez who's fighting a calculated first round. Good right hand by Gomez. And Laporte not able to connect with the left and now Gomez talking to Laporte. He's looking to land that right hand. There it goes. And this is round two. Referee making certain that the uh, Laporte corner was clear. There was no to remove the stool. There was so much noise that they didn't hear the warning buzzer. Gomez seems to feel that he can put that right hand in there when he wants to, and he's been loading up, waiting for it. Good combination by Wilfredo Gomez, and he continues to taunt, and now he just rubbed the glove in the face of Laporte. He's tough. He's bewildering. What he's trying to do is upset Juan Laporte, and he's certainly done it. A right hand by Gomez as Laporte was being held. He's giving him a boxing lesson. He's putting his laces in there. He's hitting him with his elbow. Wilfredo Gomez is doing a job on Juan Laporte right now. landing with everything he's throwing. Gomez is playing with Juan Laporte. Laporte is looking to uncork those one big punch. And Gomez is taunting him, laughing at him, making him miss, and then coming back and attacking. Good 
left tag by Gomez. And here's Laporte back on the attack. Laporte is being hurt to the body by Gomez's punches. He's beginning to slow up. This is only the second round. The attack of Wilfredo Gomez is merciless. He's unremitting. Under a minute left. Round two. It has been a Wilfredo Gomez arsenal as Laporte came out swinging wild. Not able to connect, but Gomez has been right on target. If Laporte had a plan, it went out the window. He is just trying to land a hard hook if he can and not having a good, good luck with it. Gomez playing with Laporte. Gomez showing him every trick in the book. What a lesson. Final seconds. Round two, another decisive round for the one-time Super Bantamway champion, Wilfredo Gomez. And this is round three. Wilfredo Gomez was told in his corner by the referee, Octavio Meron, keep your punches up. There were some borderline blows thrown the uh, first two rounds. There were. His body attack is devastating on Laporte. Laporte can't take that body attack. Also, Laporte's protector is way... Laporte's protector is way higher than it should be. It should be at the level of the umbilicus. It's way above. Now that, that's he's going to get called for. That glove on top of Laporte's head is absolutely a no-no. And he doesn't need to do it. He's hitting him with ease. Now remember, Laporte gets strong in the later rounds, and these are all Gomez's rounds, they figure to be. So it could be, he's making a mistake to wait, but should he weather the storm for five rounds, oh boy. Yes, Laporte has made it clear that Gomez has all kinds of problems with stamina after the fifth round, and over the last year he has not been getting the rounds, only five rounds of boxing last year while Laporte has been active, although he comes off a loss in an untitled bout, losing to Gerald Hayes, a club fighter that was in Atlantic City back in November. Well, Gomez is not punching with a great deal of authority right now. He's just sort of pity patting around. That was a good hook by Gomez. cuts and hooks by Wilfredo Gomez getting in on Juan Laporte notice Gomez doesn't let up on the body there's always one shot to the body following several to the head he just won't there it goes he just won't let go on that body there it goes again good hook by Laporte and that hurt Gomez he finally landed a tough hook And that graze Gomez. Gomez seems to have the instinct for Juan Laporte's punches. He can duck him. He made him miss 80% of his punches. And that'll wrap it for another action-filled round. And this is round four. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, from Roberto Clemente Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Laporte getting off to the slow start. Ferdy, as you mentioned, as you were watching the fighters being introduced, Laporte did look very tight. He was, and he usually is a slow starter. He certainly was now. Question being, there's the um, referee getting the trunks up on Juan Laporte. The protector's still so high that uh, you have to discount low blows like that. Both men very slow opening this uh, fourth round, as well as should be. They fought blazing first three rounds. Not punch. 
Roma's not punching hard. Laporte still trying to land that one punch. Of the two men, Gomez has boxed beautifully up to this point. Laporte has not shown much mobility or boxing ability right now. Gomez not punching with the strength and authority that he did in the first three rounds. He seems to be just punching hard enough to get those points. And to maybe lull Laporte into relaxing. There's the left hook again by Laporte getting in and again. Well, has got to keep his gloves up. He's getting too careless, and that hook is starting to come in. And we approach one minute left in this fourth round. It's scheduled for 12. The referee with a signal. Watch both your heads as far as the cut on Laporte's eye. Nothing further has happened. No further bleeding. It's a little nick. It's been taken care of in the corner. And it is not a factor in this fight. Well, Fredo Gomez, an outstanding amateur, record of 83-3, three and three, won a gold medal at the Pan American Games in 1974. Good right hand by Laporte. Lafredo has landed 20 punches before Laporte gets off that one hook. That's costing him these rounds, one after the other. He must be confident he can pull this off at the end. Final seconds, round four. And it is on to round five. Well, Fredo Gomez moving up in weight once again and facing a strong puncher in Juan Laporte. Gomez said should he lose tonight, he would retire. But of course, we've heard that before. The oldest song in boxing. I don't think he should retire. He's 27. He's at the height of his power. Unlike other champions who should retire and stay retired, Gomez is not one of them regardless of the results of tonight's fight. Gomez with 40 victories. He is 40 and won all 40 by knockout. One draw that in his first professional fight back in 1974. He's obviously been told in the last round and in this one box, spend the time, box him, show him you're a better boxer. He's certainly done that. But he has lost the steam on his punches. He was really walloping. May have been a low blow there. He came out winking the first couple of rounds, did Gomez. He went for the early knockout when he can't, then he goes back to about Gomez is you never know what he can pull the trigger. Good pity pack all of a sudden. Good head head by Laporte behind the ear of Gomez. I think Laporte, Laporte is hurting when he hits, but he hits so it doesn't go Gomez is able to recuperate and go back to his leg. He doesn't follow it up. Terrific body shot by Laporte. Terrific hard body shot that almost doubled over for Fredo Gomez. And Laporte connecting with a flurry on Gomez. Best rally of the fight for Laporte. Now he's finally doing what we were talking about. He's got to follow it up with more than just one punch, but there he goes back to the ropes. And there comes the punching machine. Oh, the right hand nearly made full contact. The crowd reacted, but it missed. It was close, but it missed. So was his people hollering worriedly, box him, box him. This may be the first round that Laporte has pulled up close. We're coming to the end of the fifth round. I 
dislike even rounds, and so therefore I am calling it for Laporte very unofficially. 59-46 for Wilfredo Gomez. Four rounds to one if you're keeping it that way. So we're on to round six, and Laporte has made it clear that he feels Gomez is in trouble after the fifth. That he's noticed that Gomez is all swollen up, plus he gets tired and slows down. There is some swelling under the uh, left eye of Wilfredo Gomez. He has those high cheekbones, and they usually swell up in his fights. Sharp bones. Gomez continues to go to the body. It's a bad equation there. He, Laporte takes six, seven, eight, nine shots and then wants to land one hard hook, gambling that that one hook will turn it around. Well, it's been a bad equation because he's been unable to land that hook more than once or twice. In the meantime, he's taken an awful body beating. And he looks very amateurish when he lunges at Wilfredo Gomez, who keeps his balance, always punching from all angles. As a piece of tape dangling from the uh, glove of Wilfredo Gomez. Past the halfway mark, round six, referee Octavio Meron, out of Mexico. Wilfredo doing all the fighting in round six. He's done all of the fighting in this round. There's a minute left. It's been all his punching. Laporte has decided to while away this round. What's going on in his mind? No one knows. Good flurry by Gomez. I have to say, Wilfredo Gomez thus far has been a thing of beauty the way he boxes. He's been punching in bunches, he steps back, he avoids the counter bowlers, he's been hit several times very hard, but by and large, it's been a 20 to 1 ratio. And he continues to paint Ron Laporte. What could Laporte's corner be telling him? Hold off until the 6th and 7th and then open up? What a mistake. 15 seconds left in the round. Another strong round for Wilfredo Gomez. And this is round seven. Once again, Laporte back to the ropes. And he backs to the ropes flat-footed in a defeated manner. He's not bouncing, he's not moving, he's not showing any boxing capability. He's not coming forward. I don't know what he's waiting for. Back into the ropes and here goes Gomez to the attack. Again, Gomez feeling the confidence, talking to Laporte as he throws the right and left. And Laporte try to unleash the left hook. Gomez talking Laporte earlier in the bout. Now he's going to get a warning for that. He's holding behind the neck. Gomez holding behind the neck, and he doesn't have to. We're seeing some of the early punching power from Gomez that we saw over the first two, three rounds. He's got it back again. Certainly Laporte can't take too much more of this. If it's his plan for Gomez to get tired, it's a bad plan. And it could be that he's being overwhelmed by superior boxing skill. And now Gomez talking to Laporte's cornerman. Laporte 
is not making a good showing as a champion here. He has just taken a one-way beating. He must attack. His only chance is to attack Wilfredo Gomez, who's having it all his way. It's a gym fight for Wilfredo Gomez. And the pattern continues. Gomez doing all the throwing. Laporte looked like he was trying to clear his eye. And Gomez all over him. The body attack of Wilfredo is too much for Laporte. Laporte. He's trying to fight back, but that body attack saps your energy. He must move off the ropes. He has no mobility. And he has no mobility because the legs die when you attack the body that way. Coming to the end of round seven, Laporte able to get in to conclude the round. And they continue to go at it after the bell. Round eight from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. It is SRO at the Roberto Clemente Coliseum. And Wilfredo Gomez has had his way against the WBC featherweight champion Juan Laporte. And Gomez opens up in the way he's been going throughout the fight. He even walked all the way over to Laporte's corner. Laporte didn't have a minute's rest. <laughs> One second after he left his uh, comfort of his uh, stool, he got hit and he stayed in the corner. There's a lot of desperation in the voices of Howie Albert and Emil Griffith as they're pleading with their fighter to start to fight. Nothing, no words from Juan Laporte. There's no question that Wilfredo Gomez is getting wide open because he's so careless he's had it all his way. But nothing comes from Laporte. What does your uh, scorecard tell us? Scorecard is almost a virtual shutout, 69-64, which means he's... Laporte has only won one round, and that was a questionable even round, but I felt he won it. Halfway through, eighth round scheduled for 12. We've seen very little of the punching power of Juan Laporte to this point. Only flashes Gomez coming right at him in the opening minutes and continuing on. And Gomez is wide open right now as he hooks to the body with impunity. He has no regard. He doesn't bring his gloves back up. He's wide open for that Laporte hook, but Laporte's forgotten about it. If he's waiting for a patented Juan Laporte finish, he's really writing a good script because he's so far behind, he's going to have to have a cavalry charge to win this one. Finally, some punching from Laporte. But Gomez laughing it off. And comes back with the uh, double right. some action from Juan Laporte. I guess he's getting tired of just getting a whipping. What a difference thus far. This round is almost over. Another exhibition of a great champion teaching a young kid how to fight. Much holding in the safe round. What right hand by Laporte. Well, it is now the home stretch. 9, 10, 11, 12. Alfredo Gomez, 27 years old, from San Percy, Puerto Rico. He is on the right, record of 40 victories, one loss, one draw. The 
One loss to the late Salvatore Sanchez. And Juan Laporte on the left of your screen, 24 years old, from Guayama, Puerto Rico. Both to New York City and now living back here in Puerto Rico. And taking a pounding from Wilfredo Gomez. Anybody has any doubts that Wilfredo Gomez has been a great champion and is a great champ, is a great champion, has but to look at this fight. He's all offense and when it comes to defense, nobody can touch him. Maybe it's unfair to judge Juan Laporte off this fight because he has been waiting for his one punch and it hasn't come. He's still got four rounds, he's young, he's strong. Let's see what fate has in store for these two fighters. Laporte could just catch Gomez going back. When he goes back to avoid those punches, he could turn the fight around because he can punch hard. He certainly has not exhausted himself as far as punching is concerned. He's hardly thrown a punch. An occasional left hook that has landed. That's been it. A minute left. Ninth round. We have not seen the uh, lack of stamina on the part of Alfredo Gomez that Juan Laporte and his people said would occur. Laporte's right eye closing slightly. The cut has not been a factor. That's a surprise. Gomez missing but off the spin coming right back and nearly caught Laporte squarely. right by Laporte but did not take full contact final seconds ninth round and this is round 10 again that curious retreat into the ropes why the chant of Gomez from this crowd here in San Juan. What started out to be a down and dirty brawl turned into a boxing exhibition. For Wilfredo Gomez, the referee has had very little to do. You must say Juan Laporte's face is beginning to lump up and his, his looks, he looks like a beaten fighter. He looks like a bewildered fighter, frustrated, he doesn't know what to do. Now what he's got to do is throw punches. What he's not doing is throwing punches. He can't afford to look at Wilfredo Gomez. He's got to do what they say in boxing. Be first. You first. Don't wait for that lead. There goes that tape off Wilfredo Gomez's glove. Oh, a nice shot by Laporte right on the button. Gomez setting up the right with the left jab. This is round 10, minute 15. They're gonna, have to, they're gonna have to stop this temporarily to fix that glove. That's very dangerous. That flicking piece of tape can go right into the eye. That's very dangerous. The referee just took a very close look at Laporte's eye. It is closing up.
Manfredo not having to box as hard or punch as hard as he had before, whiling away around. Noticing that the referee is looking very closely at Laporte's face. And again the chant for Wilfredo Gomez. Wilfredo Gomez who successfully defended his WBC Super Bantamweight title 17 times before deciding to move up a division. And trying to win the featherweight championship. Round 11. And uh, for the first time, Laporte rushing across. But tied up by Gomez. crowd has been up on its feet through most of this fight. Laporte looks like he Oh, a good right hand by Laporte just then. And again he got the right hand in. He cannot afford to get careless. question Gomez felt those two right hands he has not come back to the attack he's very cleverly waiting for himself to get taken to come back into himself he got hit again just then and for the first time Laporte's on the attack that he has been in some time. This is the best round for Laporte so far. He's on the attack. He has landed several punching shots. They don't seem to bother Gomez. And again, Gomez able to knife in with that right hand. Under a minute left. And the sea last time, some signs of weirdness for Wilfredo Gomez, and he should be. He's been punching like a machine for 11 rounds. Here comes Laporte trying. Laporte looking to land one. Oh, what a shot he got hit. And Gomez hit him low. Final seconds. 11th round. Twelfth and final round. And the crowd here at Roberto Clemente Coliseum on its feet. 11,000 fans. And we have heard them throughout, particularly the early rounds where we saw most of the action. And most of the action carried by Wilfredo Gomez. Juan Laporte with a good 11th round. But Gomez well in front on the fight doctor scorecard. We're 109 to 101. That's 9 1 and 1 if you're keeping rounds. That is an overwhelming majority for Wilfredo Gomez, but I cannot truthfully think that Laporte has won more than one round decisively. Good combination by Gomez. Gomez not willing to fritter away and play it safe. He's going to take this right to the end because, in my mind, folks, this is a great champion, Wilfredo Gomez.
this lack of action from Laporte, knowing he's blowing his championship, knowing he might as well do or die in this last round, has not come out winging. Gomez is out there playing, playing out his string for no reason at all, because he can box away this last round. Laporte's hope is to catch Gomez, and in his corner, Hector Macho Camacho jumping up and down and screaming at Laporte. Come on, let's get going. And right now, we approach a minute remaining in this championship fight for the WBC featherweight title. Juan Laporte in great danger of losing it to Wilfredo Gomez. tonight and now Gomez slipping coming up on a half better remaining of the fight and that's Gomez, Gomez talk. talking to Macho Camacho so Gomez talking back at Camacho who was rooting Laporte on now to 20 seconds left Again, the standing ovation from the crowd as Wilfred just won't let this thing in quietly. He's going to go to the bell. Final seconds. It has been all Wilfredo Gomez. And a late hit by Gomez. We'll be back with the decision in a moment. Bring it out to Jimmy Lovett is all set. So here's the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. I will read the scorecards. James Brunel of England, 110, 118. Miguel Donate, 111, 117. Robert Descain of Belgium, 113-119. El Ganador, Unanime, El Nuevo Campeón, Peso Pluma, Wilfredo Gomez. Unánime el niño de oro de las monjas, el campeón, nuevo campeón, Wilfredo Gómez. The new WBC featherweight champion, Wilfredo Gómez, Juan Laporte now leaving the ring. Ladies so and Laporte gentlemen, by Wilfredo Bazooka Gomez, who has won a second championship, the one-time Super Bantamweight champ. And it was Gomez right throughout. And so, that's the way it was a week ago in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Congratulations to the new champ, Wilfredo Gomez.